Welcome to day three of the Caregiver 101 exercise series. Today I want to show you the warm-ups standing up. Remember, you can do them sitting down or laying down. That's just fine. Go through the same, pretty much the same things. Start with a gentle reach up. Breathe in, arms lifting as high as is comfortable. And blowing all your air out, giving yourself a gentle squeeze. Again. See if you can let your shoulder blades drop down and back as you lift. Feels kind of good? One more. This time, lift your chest. Gets a little higher, doesn't it? Blow out. Reach your hands out. Be as wide as can be. Let your hands roll in and give yourself a gentle squeeze. Out. Reaching to the edges of the horizon. Let's try one hand up, one hand down. Try looking down at your finger as you reach to the ground. You need to be holding on to something. That's just fine. Let's try a little high knee marching. Bring your leg up. Other leg. Bring the toes up too. Up. You can even try to get a little bit on that tippy toe. Feels good. Everything here should feel good. No pain allowed. How about a gentle trunk twist? If you need to hold on, that's just fine. You can give your knees a little bit of warming up before you go for a walk. This next part, I'd like you to go for that easy walk. Maybe about as far as you did the other day. If you felt good and you still feel like that was easy, you can try about 10% further. Remember the balance exercises from the other day? You can throw a couple of those in as well. Make sure that someone's holding on to you if you're going to do balance games. All right, I'll see you after the walk. So today's exercises are gonna focus on strength of the upper body, keeping your upper body, including your trunk, nice and strong. Keep yourself as upright as can be. First exercise is push-ups. You've probably done those at some time in your life. Now to make those easier, we can do them on a different surface. Here I have a nice high table about the size of a uh, countertop. You could also do these against a wall. I'll show them here first. Now, in the first set, only go about halfway down, whatever is very comfortable for the shoulder. It might, this would be where it would probably hurt. About half depth. If I need it a little harder, I can go to something lower, like a chair. Rep range somewhere between 
12 and 15. On the second set, we want to go a little deeper, but maybe not quite as many because you're going a little harder. Little deeper is half to three quarters depth. Half, three quarters. Two sets with 30 seconds up to two minutes rest in between. This next exercise is a seated row. It's a lot like rowing a boat. And it's a standard gym exercise. For resistance, my helper is going to be the resistance for me. So she's going to make sure that she's giving me enough resistance where I can keep moving comfortably, but not so much that it hurts or pulls me out of control. So it's a rowing mo motion, just like rowing a boat. And on the back, part of the motion, I'm going to try to lift my chest and pull my shoulder blades back. And you can get a lot of power with this. Now, to make it a little more comfortable on my hands, I've done this kind of grip where I wrap it around my hand and then hold it. But I can do this kind of grip as well. I can also use a big rubber band. TheraBand is classically available in uh, most physical therapy kind of places. And we can do the same thing. First set, 12 to 15 repetitions. Second set, a little harder, choke up on it. And maybe six to 12 repetitions. About a minute to two minutes of rest in between. For this last exercise, all you need is a chair with arms on it, or it can also be done standing with a walker. So it's a chair dip. It's very functional because it's this kind of strength, the kind of strength that helps you sit, stand up. And it's basically just pushing up as much as you can with your arms and lowering yourself back down and pushing up and down. Simple as that. Now here's the trick. Use as much of your hand strength as possible. That's no legs. This can also be done with a walker standing up. And you can go again as deep as is comfortable. And again, this one will hurt right here if it's going to give you trouble. And again, you can use less legs for stronger arms. 15 repetitions for the first one, 12 to 15 and six to 12 for the second set. About 30 seconds to a minute, up to two minutes rest in between each one. Two sets. And that concludes the exercises. Now, tomorrow, take a rest day, a gentle walk, stretch easy, maybe go through the warm up. If you still feel a little bit tired, take a second rest day, and then start again at day one with the leg strengtheners again. Increase the intensity by adding a couple more repetitions or moving up to the next hardest level after two to three bouts of doing the exercise. That means two to three sessions. Good luck, get strong, enjoy life.